Welcome back to our channel where today, we dive deep into an important aspect of maritime regulations, Marple Annex 2. If you've ever wondered about how the shipping industry keeps our seas clean from harmful liquid substances, this video is for you. Under the Marple Convention, Annex 2 focuses on the prevention of pollution from the carriage of noxious liquid substances, or NLS, in bulk. These substances, when spilled into the sea, can cause significant environmental harm. So, how does Marple Annex 2 help regulate these dangerous cargoes? First, let's break down what it covers. Marple Annex 2 establishes guidelines for ships transporting harmful chemicals in bulk, specifically ensuring they are stored, handled, and discharged in a way that minimizes pollution risks. Key regulations of Annex 2 include Prevention of pollution limits the discharge of NLS into the sea. Designation of substances categorizes noxious substances into three categories based on their risk to the environment. Ship design requirements. Cargo tanks must meet specific design standards to prevent leaks. Cargo record book. Ships must maintain a cargo record book to log all operations related to NLS cargoes. Ships carrying these substances need to adhere to strict operational procedures, including mandatory training for crew members. For example, when discharging NLS, Certain chemicals must only be released at sea, but only in designated areas, far from coastal waters. Now, let's talk about the different categories of substances outlined in Marple Annex 2. These are grouped based on their environmental impact. Category X, highly toxic, no discharge permitted. Category Y, moderately toxic, but certain discharge conditions apply. Category Z, least toxic, Discharge is allowed in specific areas under controlled conditions. Ships are prohibited from discharging Category X substances into the sea, while Category Y and Z substances can only be released if strict conditions are met, such as being a certain distance from land and under specific environmental conditions. A critical part of compliance is the cargo record book. It serves as a detailed log of the loading, handling, and discharge of noxious liquids. This ensures transparency and accountability and authorities can check that ships are following proper procedures. Next, ship design plays a crucial role in Annex 2. Ships carrying NLS in bulk must have specially designed tanks to prevent leaks. These tanks must be equipped with advanced containment systems to avoid any accidental discharge into the ocean. Training and drills are vital to ensure the safety of the crew and the environment. Operators must be well prepared for potential incidents, including how to handle spills and emergency situations related to the cargo. And remember, Marple Annex 2 regulations are about more than compliance, they're about protecting the oceans. These substances can have devastating long-term effects on marine life and ecosystems. So next time you see a chemical tanker out at sea, you'll understand the vital role Marple Annex 2 plays in safeguarding our environment. By following these rules, the maritime industry is working towards a cleaner, safer future for our oceans. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe for more maritime insights. See you in the next video.